to my world of fun youtube out there today this we have Brittany and we have aaron my two cheerleaders yay and aaron is one of my newest dolls she is temporarily in my nursery she is going to my grandbaby as soon as possible i'm just holding on to her for a little while longer to finish getting her big haul together because my grandbaby have a lot of stuff that's going out to her either this weekend no later than next weekend but this beauty right here is actually my own collection this is my brit brit and she is uh the uh down syndrome ashton drake gallery baby and got a little hair on her face um uh, eyes actually and um I love me some Brit Brit and I am going to get her out of her cheerleading outfit. She has my initial on her. Isn't that sweet? Yay! Look at those beautiful blue eyes, y'all. Beautiful slanted eyes. I really love this doll. And um, just to let you all know, if you order this doll here, uh, your money parts of it or whatever how they do it it goes back to the foundation of down syndrome of children and so that's that's a really good purpose for this doll right here if you were to invest your money with this doll and uh, just to throw that out there sometimes people don't understand the benefits in collecting dolls it's not always uh just to have a so-called toy in your collection sometimes it goes you know the money goes for charity purposes and things like that and this here's my dolly I call mocha this is my dog monkey baby and we're gonna do some monkey business today gonna get mocha out of this onesie into a nice little comfortable uh, sleeper blanket as a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to put her in her own sleeper blanket that she came in when I purchased her from Ashton Drake. So, it's right here, y'all. I'm going to put her in that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do her now. And, uh, let me see. Can you see her? Snug her in there, a little snuggle blanket. Really cool, really simple. Doesn't even take long. Goes all the way around. Yeah. She's in there, y'all. Looks like a swaddle. A little monkey swaddle. Good. Oh, isn't she cute, y'all? Oh, and I'm going to take a little bow off because she's going to bed. And babies and monkeys don't have to go to bed with all those accessories in their head. That's the good thing about changing our babies at night. We can we don't have to worry about all the, the fixings that go along with daytime upkeeps, right? And I'm going to just lay Mocha over there and going to work on Brit Brit. Gonna bring Brit Brit over here. I'm gonna take her little bowls out of her hair and get her comfortable for the night. And uh, take a little pom pom off. She had two pom poms, like this dolly right here. Now, y'all, I didn't name this little doll my little chocolate drop. I named her Erin and everything. But I'm giving her away. Beautiful doll, y'all. Just beautiful. I'm tempted to keep an Erin myself. Because my grandbaby, she just turned two years old. And God knows she has a whole lot of dolls between what me and her other grandmother bought her. And probably her great-grandmother. So she has a whole lot of dolls. Um, my daughter, she pretty much encourages me to keep some things at the house. So, I'll probably end up doing that <laughs> for more than one reason. Uh, one reason is 
it's a good idea. Another reason is I'm falling in love with that little girl right there. So I'll probably end up keeping her in my nursery and just um, whenever my grandbaby is in town, she'll have her little cheerleader to play with. I'm going to play her again while I'm taking off Brit Brit's clothes. as a button so let me go ahead and focus on Brit Brit let's get Brit Brit out of these clothes I love this dog so much that I regret not buying two of them I mean it's never too late but I decided since I didn't order two when I purchased her what about six months ago must not be meant, so I'm not going to worry about getting another one. Unless I purchase another one as a gift to give away. And that's something I've been thinking about doing. I actually have somebody in mind. Uh, someone I know has a Down Syndrome toddler little girl. And uh, I've been thinking about... Uh, maybe inboxing her and asking her um, would she mind uh, if I purchase her one of these dolls for her daughter um, but I don't know how to ask her something like that without offending her or thinking that I would offend her I, I think we know each other well enough where she shouldn't be offended because uh, I actually know her in real life and um, I had a phone number when I had my old phone before I lost my contact so it's not like you know I'm, I, it's just going to come out the blue asking somebody I really don't know something like that but I don't know what y'all think do you think I should uh, ask her something like that and in case you didn't understand my question um, do you think it's okay for me to ask somebody I know if she minded if I got her daughter, who is a, a toddler, but she has Down syndrome, if it's okay, maybe I can purchase her a doll like this for Christmas. Um, you know how we tend to buy dolls for our little girls that they can relate to. I mean, at least some of us do. And um, I wouldn't mind um, spending that amount of money that I spent on this doll for the purpose of that little girl. Now, this, this particular baby right here is staying with me. I'm not giving this one away. No, 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 no. Don't give me away, mommy. No, not you, Brit Brit. Isn't she cute in her little monkey sleeper? So we're just monkeying today, y'all. We're just straight monkeying around. We got Mocha and her little swaddle and her little monkey colors. And then she got her own little monkey self. And then we have Brittany, that I call Brit Brit. And she's in her little monkey sleeper. Don't even ask me where I got this little sleeper from. I just know it was a blessing. Came in handy. I fell in love with it. Uh... I might have gotten this from Kids Spot. You know, Kids Spot has a lot of nice preemie clothes. And as a matter of fact, I bought real dog clothes from Kids Spot. Somebody must have had a nice collection because they donated a whole bunch of vintage dog clothes and other regular dog clothes. And um, I didn't get to buy them out that day. I had planned on buying them out the first day. I picked up a few clothes, and then I was intending to come back and get some more. I just knew it wasn't nobody else that was going to buy those clothes out. Baby, I went back. <laughs> Maybe that next weekend, she was completely out of those baby doll clothes. And it was really baby doll clothes, but they was really nice clothes. And um, so I was grateful that I was able to get a few outfits the first time I saw it. I, my heart would have been just broken. 
if I had taken a chance and not bought any of them at all. And they was really um, kind of pricey in a way because you think about something costing uh, $5 for a baby doll or $10 for a baby doll, that's pretty expensive. But those clothes were well worth it. They were so pretty, just pretty. You can see the Walmart baby doll clothes, right? Um, not saying that they're not pretty because they are, but they charge $10 for baby doll clothes at Walmart, okay? But these clothes that Kid Spot had, it was well worth the $10. And some of them wasn't $10, some of them was $5, okay? Very nice vintage clothes for baby dolls. Had the little matching hats and the little matching shoes. I mean, it was just really, really pretty for us doll collectors that need accessories for our babies. Yeah, mommy, you gotta clothe me. I mean, they can't walk around naked, y'all. So we have to, we gotta buy them some clothes. We just try not to uh, over budget ourselves, you know? And this little doll here, these little house shoes also was at Kid Spot. These cute little house shoes. Can y'all see it? Cute. And this little dolly, the next time you see her, I probably have a different outfit on her. As she actually came in this little cheerleading pink outfit. Can y'all see her? Okay. She came in this outfit. And um I just love her. We're at number one. We're at number one. We're gonna sit her down and we're gonna bring Brit Brit back and we're gonna bring Mocha back because it's really their day. It's their day. Mocha and Brit Brit and they're getting ready to go to bed for the night. And uh, maybe you and your babies are already tucked in as well with your pajamas on and your little swaddle on your babies. Maybe you've already fed your babies already. And uh, I hope you all have a blessed and safe night. Let's continue to pray for those areas that um, have the tornado warnings and hurricane warnings and and we just have a lot to be thankful for, y'all. But in in the midst of being thankful, remember somebody else really needs our prayers, okay? All right, y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. Please hit the notifications bell so you can be notified every time I drop a video. And we thank God for you all. Thank you for your support. And thank you most of all for just not being judgmental, for understanding my hobby, or if you don't understand my hobby, for trusting me with my hobby. If you trust me, automatically you'll support me. Okay, bye-bye.